Welcome to another edition of AUVSI's Weekend Roundup, where we point out some stories from the week that you might have missed. And Brian, I will start us off with a contract award story. The U.S. Army has selected General Dynamics Land Systems MUT. It's an acronym that I'm not going to spell out. Uh, for the Squad Multipurpose Equipment Transport, or SMET, program. So they plan to buy 624 of the systems, and four companies competed for the work. Uh, so uh, to recap, uh, MUT won the SMET. <laughs> a lot of acronyms. A startup company called Drone Amplified has taken a unique approach to fighting fires. The company has developed drone mounted technology that carries chemical spheres that drop and ignite at the press of a button to intentionally spark small fires that burn vegetation and starve incoming wildfires of potential fuel. So in other words, the company's drone mounted technology uses fire to fight fire. Pretty good, a time-honored technique. The Department of the Interior has grounded its drone fleet and until further review uh, amid concerns about drones made in China or with Chinese components. So. Um, they have recently bought some DJI systems, and DJI worked with the Department of the Interior to create a government edition that would not send data where you didn't want it to happen, so, or where you didn't want it to go. So we will see how this shakes out, but it's part of a growing trend in the U.S. about concern over Chinese-made drones. We do have some links below from the uh, AUVSI's Unmanned Systems Defense Protection Security Conference where they talked about this issue uh, and where there's a, a move afoot from the Department of Defense to create more of an American-made base for drones. So take a look at those links for a little more detail on this story. Earlier this week, New Air hosted its first New York UAS public safety fly-in. The event brought together over 100 public safety officials from across New York State and gave them the opportunity to not only learn about UAS, but also fly them and demonstrate them through a variety of emergency scenarios. That's cool. Uh, this one for me is a little off the beaten path. It's about NASA's moon landing programs, which is not unman unmanned per se, but there will be a lot of robotics involved with that. Uh, it's just a look at the different systems and companies that are competing to land astronauts on the south pole of the moon by 2024. And NASA says this time they're not just going to go and come back, but they are going to go and create a permanent human presence. So. Very interesting. Last item for me. Waymo is now offering limited rider-only trips in Phoenix, Arizona, which basically means that the rides are fully automated, automated without attendance in the vehicles, and they are being offered to a few hundred early users of Waymo's Rebel Taxi Service in Phoenix. That would be fun. Last thing, next week, starting Monday, is National Drone Safety Awareness Week. So we will have a link to Know Before You Fly, uh, which has a link to the calendar so you can see things that are happening near you, or if you are creating an event for that week, you can put it on there as well. So that's what we have for you this week, and we will see you next week.